last session I have explained what is impulse generator. Actually, there are two types of impulse generator. Impulse voltage generator and impulse current generator. Moreover, impulse voltage generator can be divided into two categories. First category is single stage impulse generator and the second category is multi-stage impulse generator. In this session, I will be explaining importance of single stage impulse generator and I need to evaluate the performance parameters of single stage impulse generator. Now, let us see how does it operate and what are the constructional features of single stage inverse generator. As you can see, this is a circuit diagram of single stage inverse generator. So we have different components like RLC element, R1, L1, C1, then capacitor C2, R2, then R3, L3, R4, C4, L4 and we are having one uh, test object. Alright, this is a basic structure of single stage inverse generator. Moreover, we are having the DC supply over here. Now let us familiar individual components. First and foremost thing I would like to introduce you uh, the spear gap. As you can see this is a spear gap. Okay. The duty of spear gap is it is a voltage sensing switch. It will act as a switch and we can say that it is a voltage limiter. It ensures that how long the capacitor charges. Whether the capacitor is getting charged or not it is going to sense. Once the capacitor C1 get charged completely. Uh, the spear gap G is going to conduct. Then it provides a discharging path. So that is the duty of spark gap or spear gap. All right. That is regarding the first component, spark gap. Now let uh, let me move on. The capacitor C1. So this is the important component related to single stage inverse generator. It ensures that uh, the main functions of capacitor C1 is charging as well as discharging. In the first stage it is going to charge completely. Later it is going to discharge. That is the main duty of capacitor C1. So it we can represent C1 is a capacitance of the impulse generator. Alright. So that is regarding C1. In multi-stage impulse generator we will be having group of capacitor that is going to charge serially and discharging parallelly. Alright. Now let us move on L1. While moving on L1 we can observe that L1 is one of the inductance of the given impulse generator. L1 is the inductance of given impulse generator. You can calculate the value of inductance also. While doing the designing of single stage impulse generator, you need to calculate the value of L1. Similarly, R1 you can see. R1 is known as damping resistance. It helps to control the waveforms. That is the main function of R1. Now let me move on. L3 and R3. You can observe L3 and R3 here. This is basically an external element that we are going to add to the impulse generator. R3 as well as L3. It is basically you can, I already repeated that it is an external element. That is true. Then controls the wave shape. It, will, it is going to control R3 and L3. By using R3 and L3, it is possible to control the wave, wave, wave shapes. That is a peculiarity of L3 and R3. Now let me look at R2 and R4. As you can see, this is R2 and R4. The function of R2 and R4 is to adjust the wavefront as well as wavetail time. I, I already explained what is wavefront and wavetail. So by selecting the suitable value of R2 as well as R4, R2 and R4, it is easy to control wavefront, wavefront as well as wavetail. Now, let us look at C2, where, where, where you can observe C2. This is actually C2. Okay. If I talk about C2, it is the capacitance of connecting leads. There are a lot of connecting leads will be happening in uh, single stage impulse generator. Uh, the capacitance due to connecting leads or external element that is generally known as parasitic capacitance. C2 represents is basically a parasitic capacitance. Now let me look at uh, C4. C4 is belong to concerning for the load. We will we'll be having the test object here. Uh, C4 means uh, it is a load capacitance. All right. Finally, you can see L4. L4 represents inductance of the test object. This, these are the basic components which are required for single stage impulse generator. Mainly charging action of capacitor as well as discharging. Charging and discharging action of capacitor C1 that is going to happen here. Uh, this is regarding single stage impulse generator. Now let us discuss equivalent circuits of single stage impulse generator. You can see different equivalent circuits of single stage impulse generator. Look at figure number A. This is actually one type of RLC circuit. This is also figure B. You can see this, this is also another type of RLC combination. You can see figure C. You can observe figure C. That is also one type of RLC combination. And figure D also belong to one of the RLC combination. Depends on the wave shape. You will be, you can uh, arrange different type of circuits which will be helpful for generating impulse generator. 
so what you can do based on your requirement you select what type of impulse what what kind of impulse generator is required for you based on that you can rig up the circuit and generate the impulse waveforms so this represents different required circuits of impulse generator so wave shape will be different for each and every type of impulse generator figure a figure b figure c and figure d are representing uh, equivalent circuits of single stage impulse generator right now we can calculate output voltage of single stage impulse generator in order to calculate output voltage we can use this formula v not represent output voltage it is a, it is a function of time v not is given by v divided by 1 minus 4l divided by cr square whole to the power 1 by 2 or else you can represent the denominator term in terms of a square root also all right where v is known as applied dc voltage input voltage input voltage of impulse generator l is the inductance of given circuit uh, c is the capacitance of given circuit and r is also total equal resistance of given circuit so by using this formula it is possible to calculate what is the magnitude of voltage which is going to generate from the impulse voltage this formula is most important for doing the numerical example now let us figure out what are the performance parameters of single stage impulse generator usually we see efficiency it is one of the performance parameters of a uh, single parameter of single stage impulse generator efficiency can be calculated by using in terms of uh, capacitance value 1 divided by 1 plus c2 by c1 then you will be getting uh, the per efficiency percentage efficiency then uh, you can calculate how much amount of impulse energy has been transferred from one stage to another stage by using the equation uh, w it represent total impulse energy that is transferring from one stage to another stage that can be calculated by using the formula half c1 v0 square where c1 is the input value of capacitance c1 is the heart of the component that uh, c1 is doing uh, charging as well as discharging at the first stage c1 is performing charging action thereafter it is performing discharging action okay v0 is the output voltage by using this you can determine uh, how much amount of impulse energy has been transferred from one stage to another stage now let us see how do you select uh, the capacitor c1 is there any Uh, formula for calculating is there any design formula to calculate capacitor c1 yes there is a design formula mva rating of the generator you need to know into 10 to the power 8 divided by z into v square z is the overall impedance of the circuit v is the input voltage then if you apply the formula you are able to get the value of capacitor in terms of farad that is that will be really helpful for doing the design uh, these are the important information regarding uh, single stage impulse generator as of now we found the working of single stage impulse generator construction details then equal the circuit and some design procedure finally let us conclude what are the drawbacks of single stage impulse generator definitely there are some pros and cons now let us figure out what are the main drawbacks of single stage impulse generator the first drawback is physical size of the circuit elements are too high because capacitor value inductor value everything actually you have to select very higher value so physical size is becoming too high physical size of the elements are becoming too high that is not favorable property let us look at the second drawback large size of the sphere is required uh, sphere gap will act as a switch but we require very large sphere and that is totally undesirable while coming back to third point let us see uh, high dc charging voltage is required high dc charging input voltage is needed that is another uh, drawback moreover i explained the corona in the first chapter i think you must know it's a one of the high voltage phenomenon so suppression of corona is difficult in this scenario Uh, it will affect it it may give some kind of error it may lead some kind of error and uh, one of the major difficulty is corona so suppression of corona to get rid of corona we have to do some kind of arrangement that is some of the difficult task now let us move on the last drawback switching of high voltage with the sphere gap is difficult okay that is actually in continuation with the fourth point anyway we can say that switching of high voltage with that particular sphere gap is one of the difficult task these are the few drawbacks which we can Uh, list out okay now how to get rid of these drawbacks in order to get rid of these drawback one type of generator is introduced that is known as multi stage impulse generator multi stage impulse generator is also known as max circuit okay it is designed by max that's why it is known as max generator uh, that portion will be covered in the next session thanks for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe